Good morning, everybody. It is 932 right now. Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here being joined by a good friend of Iowa Live, Trace Kendig. He is the police chief in Polk City. And uh, recently we were talking to Trace about a friend of his that has an incredible organization uh, that is out there. Trace, first of all, welcome uh, to the program. Thank you. Good to see you again. Yep. I didn't recognize you out of uniform, <laughs> sir. Yeah. So this is what he looks like undercover. Just yeah. like, you can look at that beautiful face but there. Trace, you were talking about this gentleman here, uh, Randy Sutton, about a great organization that he has that has been going strong. Uh, ex explain how you first ran into him. So I met Randy last fall at a Concerns of Police Survivors National Conference on uh, mental health for police officers in Chicago. And Randy, I got to visit him. He explained what he was doing with his organization and why he was there. And uh, it's, a, it's just a huge need within our, uh, our policing profession is uh, keeping our mental health up, peer support. And I won't take a lot of that away from Randy, let him talk about it. And Randy's on the, the front lines of it and got a really great organization he started and, and growing every day. But yeah. you're our local connection to a national organization that's happening. Yeah, from, through Noah and Randy, yep. Noah okay. Randy. Now yep. Randy's the founder of the Wounded Blue Foundation. Correct. Uh, which has been around for how long? We actually just launched officially in May during Police Week of this oh, wow. year. Oh, wow. And it, just in that period of time, show you the need, we have, we have peer support for police officers who have been injured, disabled, either physically or emotionally. And just since May, my, my team of 10 injured officers has ministered to the needs of over 1,000 law enforcement officers all over the United States. Oh my goodness. Just it, since May. Just since May. Now That's obviously the name says something here, the Wounded Blue Foundation, but explain exactly what this is all We're about. We're the National Assistance and Support Organization for Injured and Disabled Law Enforcement. And most people do not know that this need exists. Uh, I was a police officer for 34 years, and what ended my career, I had a stroke in my police car. Mm. Oh, and no. it was literally the scariest thing that ever happened to me. And my own department turned its back on me and didn't pay my medical bills. Wow. I had to go to court. And I thought, this is something that has just happened to me. Right. Well, when I, when I left the department and retired, because of uh, my um, experience in the law enforcement community, police officers from all over the country were contacting me with these heartbreaking stories about how they were treated after they were shot or stabbed or beaten or run over by a car. And, and I realized that this is a national issue. And every one of them said the same thing. I feel like I was abandoned by my city and by my police department. You can't yeah. have it. Obviously, we, we love our first responders and think nothing but the best of them, but why is this an issue? Why is this happening? Do we know? I can tell you this. I wish my organization did not need to exist. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but it is, it is an incredible failure of many police leaderships and city leaderships that are actually more concerned with dollars right. than they are with the lives of their officers. Do we know how many officers are injured every year? Uh, you're going to be shocked at this statistic, okay? 50, approximately 57,000 police officers are assaulted, physically assaulted, each year. That includes gunshots, that includes beatings, that includes everything. That's just the physical assaults, okay? Yeah. There's, there's less than a million police officers in this entire country. So 57,000 really? being physically assaulted, and that doesn't count. More police officers are actually injured in tra in traffic accidents, training accidents, and and during um, uh, foot pursuits and things like right. that. So you got it more than double that number, and that's the number of people who are who are injured. Now they aren't all catastrophically injured, right? But thousands are thousands. So you're uh, talking over a hundred thousand uh, potentially of the whole group that have been injured. Yes. In some way, shape, or form. Yes, yes. correct. And, correct. Say, and yes. you haven't even really touched upon like the mental capacity uh, of, of PTSD right. we, or we things are, that go along with that. In law enforcement today, we are facing an epidemic of police suicide. It's never been like this before. Mm -hmm. Literally more officers are dying by their own hand than are being killed in the line of duty. Wow. This is, it's, 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 it's a national tragedy. And you'll see on our, on our logo something that's really important. The words, never forgotten, never alone because that's what is is affecting the mental health of these men so and women. Uh, uh, the wounded blue can educate people and, and the yeah. public about the needs of these officers that are injured absolutely and and we are creating a membership based uh, program so that citizens because even while I was getting all these heartbreaking messages from these officers I was also getting messages from people all over the country saying Randy I support my law enforcement but I don't know how to show it 
So now we're giving the opportunity to citizens as well as police, because one of the things that's so important is to bring the unity that used to be in this country of the people and the police closer together. And using this platform and this, this tragic set of circumstances, this way people and the police can, can help each other. Right. Now, That's, we're going to do something to try to get both these organizations together, both the public and police together, and you are going to be able to attend an event. That's yeah. Going on. I, Tell us about the I event am, that's going on. I am really excited about being here in Iowa. I've never been here before. Oh, well, welcome. And, 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 uh, and Chief Kendig uh, so graciously set up a fantastic barbecue. And uh, we're, it's going to be at Range Masters. Okay. It's from 11 to 2 tomorrow on Saturday. There's going to be a shooting competition. There's going to be some amazing barbecue prepared by, believe it or not, Trace. Trace. Whoa. Yeah. He's bringing out. He's a heck of a barbecuer. Yeah. And, and I got to throw my, my partner, Mike McKinney, in. Too. Okay. He helps with it a lot. We have our own nonprofit. That is awesome. That and so that's that. going on. Uh, no, what do people need to do to go to this, to, to visit with you? Because you're going to be able to visit with Absolutely. people. Absolutely. And this is, by the way, uh, in case you're wondering uh, where you were a police officer, you spent 10 years where? Uh, Princeton, New Jersey. Okay, for and 10 then years. and then you spent 24 years with Las Vegas Metropolitan so Police. So for those of you that watch Cops on this <laughs> station, the Las Vegas uh, edition of Cops, this is the guy you see on Cops here on on CW Iowa 23. <laughs> he likes being on TV. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's on there all the time. It, it's one of those. This is a huge national front that you're creating here. You can tell Correct. the passion in your voice and in what you're talking about today. But we're able to make a local. Yes. connection here with this event happening tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. And we're talking free barbecue, shooting competition, raffle, but we're raising awareness, but our, we're also trying to raise funds to help go back to this. Yes, correct, correct. Yes. correct. This, is a, this is a fundraising, fundraising. event. Yeah. So bring, bring your wallets, but have some great barbecue. I'd love to meet the folks that are in this community, and I, uh, uh, Chief Kendig has, has told me about the amazing support the people of, the, of this area give the police. And so I'm really anxious to, to meet a bunch of folks. We're going to have t-shirts and hats and all that kind of oh, stuff. So it's it. tomorrow, 11 to 2. At Range Masters okay. on, where is? On Hickman. Yeah. On Hickman. Way on Hickman, 105, 105 20 uh, Hickman. Yep. And okay. if you're, if you're a shooter, bring your, bring your gun out there because there's going to be a competition. And, uh, and they're donating all the, the revenue from that competition to the Wounded Blue. I love it. That is awesome. And uh, If people want to learn more about Wounded Blue, where do they go? thewoundedblue.org okay. and we also have just released a documentary film called The Wounded Blue Service Sacrifice Betrayed okay. and it is a powerful powerful video which will explain exactly what we're doing and why and it'll it'll bring the reality to you and it's, uh, we actually just won won two awards and uh, it was the, it was the first time I've been part of a film from behind the scenes. <laughs> as, as opposed to, to on the camera. Right, right. <laughs> the woundedblue.org. Get more information on everything yes. we're talking about here today. And we'll see you tomorrow. You certainly will. All right, will. buddy. Thank you so Very much nice for being to here. Meet you, Trace, Trace, good to good see you, man. You. Yep. Uh, go start smoking some. some <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay, get ready for tomorrow. We'll be back in just a bit. At